So I've just arrived in Dubai. I finally have my big competition I've been waiting for. I say big competition in the respect that the one I have been preparing for, the one I'll shave for, the one that I'm finally going to try out my new Mizunos at long last. I know a lot of people have been asking when my Mizuno GX4 ST review will be, and it was always when I finally wear them, which is this weekend. So it's not the biggest of all competitions. It's just a standard open meet in Dubai run by Hamilton Aquatics. There's no heat finals, but it's an opportunity for me to race fast, gain some national qualifying time, which I need to do because you have to do it in a qualifying period in Britain. So I'm not racing the qualifying period yet. So it's currently Thursday, the day before the competition starts. We flew in early this morning. I got like a 45 minute swimming at the school pool before we flew. And I'm standing in the Radisson Blue so just doing some warm up in this pool, I joke. Literally about two foot, two foot deep there. It's really warm, but this is a beautiful view we've got. You've got the Dubai cityscape on the horizon there, so you can see the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building there. Really is a crazy place to buy. Swear in the sauna, and then I have a cold shower to follow that. Just relaxing the muscles a little bit. Just, just taking a little bit of stress off the body and a cold shower will be nice, flush everything out a bit. So I'm now starting what is very much a love-hate part of any guy's taper meet of the year, the shave down, where we obviously shave our legs, our armpits, our torsos, some people their arms, which I'm going to do today. It's a hate because it takes so goddamn long, but it's a love because you feel so good. After. And tomorrow the first race of the 100 freestyle, which I'm wearing the new US colored GX Sonic 3 MR, which I'm really excited for. I've never tried the MR, I've only ever tried the ST. And then day two, I have the 50 fly, 5300 fly, it's a big day, but I will be using the 4 ST for the majority. As you can see, the swimsuit guys in lane five, and Stu is in two. Lane two, the swimsuit guys wearing the new CX Sonic MR3. This one's some guy, look at that underwater, and he's coming up in front. Look at that, stroke, nice and straight arm. He's looking to go out fast, I think. Just die a little bit on the way back, but... He's going well as well. I, we think that's, that's a PB. Yeah, I'm sure that, that he should be happy Isla! with that. Sonny's in, 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 in the same lane as Isla, as you can see. Isla's just starting her turn to pop. Which is probably one Sonny, of oh, she's Sonny, the Sonny. Sonny looks a little bit now, tired. Bit and then there's Sadie in the end lane. <laughs> no, she's not. She's in the lane one. <laughs> Oh, Sonny looks Asking a little bit Sonny red. Pull him here, pull him Sonny here. Sonny is very, him. very dead. That's when you know like you've tried your hardest. Oh Ooh, look at him, he's still in the pool. They're almost he's the done. Last, he's the last to get out the pool. Oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. Rocking them Mizunos. Mizunos. Mizunos, whatever. Well done, Sonny! <laughs> Congratulations, you know, fellow Team Mizuno member. Who's also rocking the new MR ones? They look so. Sonny is telling him what new Mizunas he's got to get. He's giving him advice. She be giving advice, advice to other teams. So we're just about to start session two. Session one went really well. PVs all round. Got some lunch. What are you racing, Emmy? 200 IM. Lauren has got the big triple. 200 IM, 53. And 200 breast. I don't envy it, but she's gonna she's gonna complete it with great fashion. This is the swimmers area, but we have a non-swimmer here, stealthing in. Don't put a swimming hoodie on a Matendra swimmer. It says her name on it. It's all right, we'll allow her. We have some more 200 IM girls here. Oh, Carmen won't say anything. We have sprint specialist Hannah. 
to the 53. Another sprinter this afternoon. Isla. We have not Molly Dunn is a sprinter this afternoon. You're not doing 53, are you? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Okay, we can call that a sprint. Is this for vlog? This is for vlog. Debatable. Debatable. This is your 1500 sprint. There, you've heard it here first, Sadie Hunter. So we've got the we've got the Mizuno crew here. We've got Jacobo who's in the Mizuno crew. Ethan forgot his kit race bag at home, so he would be in the Mizuno crew, but he's let us down, and he's having to borrow some of my speedos. Juan, Juan is in the Mizuno crew. Alex is in the Mizuno crew. So little Lauren didn't used to activate before races, and now we've taught her activation. And she also reps Team Mizuno. Do you do your activation? Three squat jumps is the key to race. So we have a skins event to finish off day one. We have Olivia Herp representing us. She comes second in the 200 IM, which got a second seed to this. We're starting with backstroke. Go on, Liv! So she's in lane five. Second to last to surface. And she's in first place for now. We've just found out that there was only seven kettles in round one, so they didn't have to try at all. It was a free round and no one was eliminated. As I put this at the end of day day one, the, the crowd is really like packed. Um, from our end, we have Molly Dunn and Little Block and Big Block and Ethanuel. So they're alternating with the 15 and over girls. If she breathes to the other side, she could literally shut down. Oh yeah, there she goes. There's Sloan. I taught her the techers. I taught her the techers. Of what? She could have both ways. Yeah. The survival techers. She's come third, actually. And we're through safely. We've just got the 10 second whistle. We've got round four freestyle. I think she could have saved some more of her energy. Well, no, there are We've got another freestyle round. It's down to the business end. If she makes it through this round, she guarantees a little trophy. See the trophies here? So if Liv put in a very, very solid effort there, coming third. She took the trophy. And she was only point two of her PB on that last round, which is pretty cool. Oh, it was my it's just, it was hard. Nearly went a PB. Oh, yeah, I was trying really hard. And there we have in second place, Olivia on the trophy here. podium. I've stole Liv's skins trophy. It is now in my possession. He's just jealous. Why am I jealous? Because he didn't get a trophy. Oh. And you would not be able to swim as fast as living. That's probably true after 6.50. So, I've gone to this guy, Max's house, for a little chill out after day one of the meet. And he's blended me some beetroots up. And now I am um, being forced to drink from the blender. So a quick day one update back at the hotel. 
Well, it was a good day. Morning was awesome. I tried out the Mizuno GX Sonic 3MR for the first time. So I've worn the ST3 for all my main races for the last sort of two years now. It's the first time I've actually tried the multi-racer version, which some swimmers such as Blake probably swear by over the ST. They don't have the hamstring taping, they have side thigh taping, but they have much more dual layer. As you can see, it comes right around to the front. And this is obviously the American Special Edition color. It looks more like the four anyway. So I'm 0.8 PB in the 100 free, so all was good in there. Um, this is an engine suit and it's super watery. It all beads and it just falls off. Ethan's on like his eighth race of the weekend now. So um, he's doing all we can. He's putting the probably two big compression sleeves on. Too small, I think. They're too big because my, my arms have stretched them and his skinny little child arms won't fill them out, will they, Ethan? My arms are the size of trucks. You understand what I mean? Like, mate, you feel massive. it. Mate, you've got, you've got some power. Look, look, mate. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. See that flex. So we've discovered that the large male arm sleeves are optimal for a 13 year old girl's legs. My six, uh, five, seven. Twelve seconds later. Stu will be longest underwater. guy next to him. No, he will not. So this is Ethan's second skins of the season. Um, there's some fast, fast boys in this. So he's going to have to get stuck in, fly on the first round. He's looking real good actually. This is his 10th swim of the weekend. So there's some like British, British champ swimmers here in the 50 fly. Um, so just the fact he's mixing with these. I think he's gonna jump, oh, it's gonna be close. Head down, Ethan. Go on, buddy. Oh, that's a PB for him. Great job, Ethan. And there he is, last swim of the weekend. Awesome job, Ethan. Awesome job to all the team. Thanks, sir. So the meet is now finished and I am treating myself accordingly, which I think is very important to do. So I'm back from the meet. I'm absolutely dead. The, 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 the racing fatigue definitely takes it out of me, but really, really happy with everything this weekend. It's great trying out the new Mizuno suits. As a whole, my club done awesome. We had some, some really big swims. I don't think I've got any footage of it, but uh, Liv Hunter, who you've seen numerous times in this vlog now, went 225 for 200 fly, long course at 14. We had some Scottish Nationals qualifying from some of the get-go in my squad, which is great. There was um, a lot of Mizuno rep. Liv wore the Mizuno, women's Mizuno for the first time. Dropped three seconds on the 100 breast, which is awesome. Ethan's qualified for Welsh Nationals. I, I was really happy with how I'd done. Just a quick wrap up, but there was a PB in it. All four of my races, even even that, that dangerous double at the end, that was hard. For now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this, this fun little vlog. Next weekend will be the Mizuno GX4 review. The weekend after will be the Tiervenzo review. The weekend after will be the Mizuno GX3 MR review. We have... Uh, we, uh, Women's reviews, we have loads on the way, so smash the subscribe button. Stay tuned for a lot of tech suit reviews.